Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming on another Destiny 2 Season of the Surfer video. It is Zerd Day, Friday, February the 17th, 2023, and Zerd is back in the tower. So you're gonna check it out and see what Zerd has for us today. Let's go! Once again, happy Friday, my guardians. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, Zerd is back in the tower. You can show up in one of three different locations. Of course, today, he's in the tower. So we're gonna spawn into the courtyard and we're going to see what Zer has for us today. And he have returning some pretty decent items this week. So yeah, not bad, and not bad at all, Mr. Zer. Now, of course, returning we have always our illustrious Illuminous Exotic and Gram Gram Gram. So you can get out the, all of these old exotics if you haven't already, my guardian. Now, of course, we have two random rolls, one for the Hawk Moon, one for the Dead Man's Tail. For the Hawk Moon this week, we have Hammer Force Rifle, the Ally Magazine, and we also have Smooth Grip and Ida Storm, making this a pretty decent roll for PvE and for PvE. For the Dead Man's Tales this week, we also have some pretty fantastic roll, Smallborn, Vocal Weapon, Flare, Maglo, and Handlay Stock, making this a pretty fantastic roll for PvE and for PvP. Next up, we have the Queen Breaker Bow. Linear Fusion Rifle is here for our Weapon of the Week. Comes with an intrinsic perk called Wire Rifle, Fire Long, Precision, Arc bolt that blind enemies on hit with two different combat sights and pretty excellent rolls, making this fantastic in PvE and in PvP. Next up, we have the Young Aquamar Spines. These are exotic gauntlets for the Hunter Glass. Comes with entrance, Burk called Wish Dragon Team, increase trip mine grenade duration and blast, radius ability, and grants trip mine energy grenade. Pretty good in PvE and in PvP. We also had an exotic helmet called the Eternal Warrior for the Titan Glass. Comes with an intrinsic perk called Resolute. Gain an overshield when activating Fist of Havoc. Pretty good in PvE and PvP. Although you really don't see too many people rocking it too much. And last but not least, we have the Wings of Sacred Dawn. Comes with an intrinsic perk called Tones of Dawn. When Dawn Blade is equipped, aiming weapons while you're midair, suspend the force shard time, proving airborne accuracy, reducing incoming flinch, granting damage resistant weapon hits, extends the effect duration, and provides a large benefit to the airborne effective stat of all weapons. Pretty good in PvE and in PvP. This is how the chest speed can be acquired during your playthrough of Vanilla Destiny 2. It's going to be an exotic for that Warlock class. For our legendary weapon of the week, we have the Vipicula hand cannon starting off 180. Precision frame on this bad boy with some pretty decent traits. We got tunnel vision on this bad boy. Also explosive frame with the handling masterwork, making this a pretty decent roll. Should be pretty good in PvE and in PvP, so long as you hit your headshots. Now, next up, we have a nice submachine gun, if you have the right rolls. This week, decent 900 rpm lightweight frame on the escape velocity with some pretty decent rolls and stats on here need a lot of range need a lot of stability and we don't really have that here so for this one it's a hard pass for me now of course we also have another submachine gun why not the extraordinary rendition 750 rpm with the stability masterwork you need a lot of stability and we really don't have that here so for me all of these stats make it a total trash roll and yeah, with that at 9, hard pass for me. Next up, the Soaringer Tail Shotgun is up next. 65 RPM pinpoint slug with a reload masterwork with some pretty decent traits on this bad boy. Pretty nice. We are going to say this is going to be pretty good in PvE and pretty good in PvE because shotguns are just OP. Shooting face and they fall down, go boom. Pretty nice. Pick it up, added to a collection. Next up, the Punching Out, the very highly slept on side on. It's going to be excellent in PvE and in PvP if you have the right rolls. This one have a handling masterwork, 450 RPM, with some pretty decent traits, hybrid type of a roll, but still should be pretty good in PvE and in PvP. Just make sure they're really close to you and you'll be fine with the Punching Out. Now, to round out all weapons this week, my guardians, we have some pretty decent rolls for two more weapons. First off, the Triantal Linear Fusion Rifle, 530 RPM precision frame with a charge time masterwork, which is pretty decent with some pretty decent stats, a little boost on your impact damage, and, you know, Dragonfly making us a hybrid roll, should be still pretty good in PvE and in PvP. And to round it all off, we have the third Axiom, Pulse Rifle. And this one has some pretty decent rolls, almost close to a god roll, but not quite. 390 RPM on this bad boy hand, we master work with Feeding Fringy, and we have lovely Rampage Masterwork. Should still be pretty good in PvE and in PvP. And when it comes to our 
armor set. Whole fast set is here, and the stats aren't that horrible this week. A lot of 65s around here. Total 65 on the gloves, just need to boost that resilience up, and I'm like, it's not a bad piece to pick up. Hard pass for me for Transmod. Same thing gonna be for that chest piece, total of 65. Not bad for the stat roll on here. Hard pass for me for Transmod. Of course, the bottom's gonna be the bottom. Decent looking when it comes to the helmet, total of 62. Stats are kinda in the right place, but horrible for Transmog and the boots. PlayStation didn't even want to show what the boots look like because they were like hard pass, hard pass. So I'm gonna say hard pass for the boots. <laughs> but there you have it, my dudes. That is what Zer has for us this week for February the 17th, 2023. Happy Friday, my guardians. I hope you and yours have a wonderful weekend. Now, as always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carbo Game. Upload a wide variety of videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. I'll be back again streaming on Tuesday at Reset. As always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.